Okay, so my eyes are already primed with some concealer and some setting powder and I am going to start by using this palette. It is called MAC Shiny Pretty Things Eye Party. Ooh. And this is what the inside looks like. It's very warm toned, uh, some bright pink or red and some browns. I think I'm gonna start with this one first in my crease and then I'm gonna apply this one in my lower crease. A little bit of the product and blend it into my eyes. Does it do anything? Yeah. I'm gonna do like a sparkly eye. Um, trying to keep it sort of natural because uh, there is a lipstick in the collection that I really wanna use. It's a dark matte red lip and it is freaking gorgeous. So that's what I wanna use. You know what? I am not gonna use this shade. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the dark brown. Who do you see me in my mirror? Stupid. Um, and just apply it with my uh, MAC 221 in my lower crease. Oh, that's so dark. I actually didn't want it to be that dark, so... I'm gonna go over it with the first shade just to make it a bit softer because... Oh, just a little bit of definition. I think this is uh, enough when it comes to the warm tones, uh, crease and all that good stuff. So just two colors uh, from this eyeshadow palette and then for the eyelid because I am ooh, freaking excited about these new eyeshadows. This is a new formula. It reminds me of a foiled eyeshadow. It is called the Shiny Pretty Shadow in the color Major Win and that is so pretty and shiny. So that's why I wanted to keep my crease and stuff very natural because we're gonna do a bold lip and we're gonna do very glittery eyelids. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm taking my MAC 242, picking up that eyeshadow onto the brush on both sides. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to intensify it a little bit more. Say what? Oh my god, this will be my New Year's Eve eyeshadow or going to the supermarket. Alright, so this is the eyeshadow in Major Win, but because I am who I am and I wanted to make it a little bit extra, um, the collection comes with two compact highlighters, a color that MAC already sells, but then there is a new one called Snow Flushed and it looks like this. It, it has a little bit of a pinkish golden undertone. Um, and I want to apply it on top of it just to see what happens. So we're gonna pick up a little bit of our product, spraying a little bit of Fix Plus and just going, oh. <laughs> oh my God, I am in glitter heaven. My eyelids are so blinding. Like if there were people on the moon right now, they would definitely see me shine. And I'm like, um, I don't know, should I do eyeliner? You know what? There was no eyeliner in my last MAC holiday video, so I'm not gonna wear it today as well. I am gonna go in with falsies, and they're not my MAC just because I do not like MAC blushes. This one, I like number 48. It's, to me, very natural, but I like to be, you know, extra. So I'm gonna use the Lily Lashes in Miami. Okay, so the lashes are on. I'm now gonna spray a little bit of the Smashbox primer water on my face. I haven't used this one for a while and it's one of my faves, so I don't know why. So that's why I'm bringing it back. It's gonna make my face a lot more hydrated and a little bit more sticky, so my foundation will stay on. And because it is for 80% a MAC video, so I'm gonna use my favorite MAC face and body, and I am in the shade C5. So when I use face and body, I let it sit on my face for 10 to 15 seconds because afterwards it will get a little bit more thick and you're gonna get a lot more coverage out of the foundation. So I'm gonna blend it out using my fingers. Yeah, and of course I'm gonna go over it with a beauty sponge. And yes, I know a lot of you would be like, oh my God, what is she doing? She's using her hand for a foundation. I never do that with no foundation, only for face and body. It just works better. You're gonna get a lot more coverage. I don't know, I love it. You should test it out. Just put a little bit on your hand, go like this, and then you will see that the foundation will get thicker. Let's do that. All 
All right, so now the foundation is as thick as I want it to be. It almost feels like a heavy cream on your face if you do it like this. Like it's coverage, but it's still glowy and feels like skin. That's why I like to use my hands. And yeah, my face does feel a little bit sticky, so I'm gonna use some concealer, contour my face, and then when I'm done using uh, cream products, I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder. Taking my Queen Tarzy sponge and just going over it. I think I don't think it's actually necessary, but I don't know. I always go over it with a sponge. I actually wanna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but I can't find it, so I'm just gonna use the Huda Beauty Overachiever High Coverage Concealer in Granola. And blending it out. I hate it when the sun shines and I'm filming. Um, everything is closed, but everything is white in my room, so there is still light coming in, and then my color changes. It's terrible. Eyes are concealed. And to highlight, I'm gonna use a light boost by MAC underneath the eyes, and I'm gonna use this also to contour a manude. Time to set the under eyes. I'm using my MAC 240S brush and the RCMA translucent powder. I do want to brighten my under eyes a little bit, so I'm going to use the Hourglass, what is it called? Ambient Lighting Palette, and I'm going to mix this shade with that shade with the same MAC 240S brush just to give me a little bit more of that highlighted look. Alrighty, so we are done with using cream and liquid products. So I'm quickly gonna set my face a little bit with the Pro Longwear Powder in a medium dark. And I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush, just a little bit. And I always like to tap my big brush onto my face, just because that will make sure that your foundation will stay in place. And if you're going like this, you're just gonna move it and you wanna set it. So. To contour, I'm gonna use a Shade Stir, which is a refill that I have, but it's also now in the contouring palette of MAC has. I don't wanna to contour too much because I know that in the palette there is also a bronzing powder, so. Then it's time for this pretty face compact in medium deep. Look at the packaging, you guys, this color. And it comes with a bronzer or contouring powder, a blush, and a highlighting shade. Oh, this is a new one. I thought it was Oh Darling, but it's called Soul Glow. It does look like Oh Darling though. But um, I'm gonna use the bronzy shade and the blush. I'm not gonna use highlighter because it's gold and I always use colors like this. I wanna use the one that I have on my eyes, which is a highlighter on my cheeks to see how it looks on my skin tone. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this color. Oh, that's pretty. All right, so it's very pigmented. Don't use too much like I do. I have a little bit too much on my cheeks, so I'm gonna bake to make it a little bit more defined. Taking a little bit of this blush, not too much because I'm not really a blush person, but for the sake of the video, I will do it. I'm using a MAC 129 brush. It is pretty though. All right, time for my favorite part, and I'm actually a little bit nervous because I don't know how a pinkish golden highlighter will look on my face. I normally tend to go for gold. So if it's too pink, I'm gonna go over it with um, the one that comes in the face compact. But first, let me wipe this away. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the primer spray. You can also use Fix Plus. Let's do this. I like it. I think it's very festive. What do you guys think? I think this will look good in pictures. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do the birch of my nose with it because that being pink is weird. So we're gonna take the gold one from the palette. I'm just gonna use my finger 
just apply it on the bridge of my nose and also on my chin a little bit. Okay, so face is done. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the first shade that I used mix with the most tiniest amount of the dark brown and I'm gonna apply it under my lower lashes just to, you know, give a little bit of color but not too much. Now that I'm looking at my makeup, it is pretty colorful, especially because most of the shades are pink, especially the highlighter, and I was planning on applying a dark red lip, but I don't know if that's going to look good. You know what? We'll see. I'm applying a little bit of feline in my waterline and, of course, a little bit of mascara. Oh, the highlighter is actually very pretty. Look at that. You should buy this one. If your choice is between Oh Darling or this one, buy this one because Oh Darling you can buy every time. Just not in the special packaging, but still, you know. Are you ready for lips? I am first going to prime my lips with the Prep and Prime Lip Primer, which I always forget to use, but it's pretty awesome. Then I am going to line my lips a little bit with a Night Moth, also by MAC, and the lipstick is called Straight Fire, and it is this beautiful red shade. And yes, normally I would do a new lip with this eye look and face makeup that I have on, but you know what? It's a holiday collection, let's just do it. And if it's very ugly, we can always change it into a nude. That's about it. Kinda has a metallic finish. It is, it is a matte color, but did you see that? It's kinda shiny. No, not shiny. Hmm. You have to agree with me that this is the ultimate red holiday Christmas lipstick. Not really a fan of the combination, but it's a darker shade than Russian Red, also a matte lipstick by MAC, but it is a bit lighter than Diva. So it's in between and it's, the finish is kind of weird because it says it has a matte finish, but then it kind of has like a frosty thing. That was a very good explanation. Okay, so this was the dark lip. I decided to do also a nude lip to see how that will look like. And I think I'm gonna film the next video using a nude lip because I'm not really feeling this, but I do like the lip shade. So for my lippies, I have a lipstick that is extremely light, almost like a champagne gold, and the lip gloss as well. But I'm gonna first apply nice and spicy lip liner just to give my lips a little bit more warmth. And I'm gonna fill in my entire lips with it because obviously it will be way too light. Lips are aligned, and then I'm gonna apply the lips. <laughs> Yeah, gonna apply my Brogo lipstick. Hmm. So it's very shiny, but if you apply a little bit, then I like it. And then a little bit of the lip gloss. Yeah. So what do you prefer? The new lip or the red? I prefer nude, obviously. So yeah, this is my look using the products from the new MAC Holiday Collection. Um, I am obsessed, especially the eyes. I love them very much. and. This pink highlighter, obsessed. The video where I show you the rest of the products is already online. I think I'm gonna upload the makeup video after that, so I will put it somewhere in the description box so you can click on that if you want to see the rest of the products. Um, let me know what you think of this makeup look. Um, I think I told you that, but I am obsessed with the highlighter, the eyeshadow. These are favorite products. So yeah, let me know what you think of it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.